Aww, Aww, geek, geek out. out! Pinkies up. Time for another Geek Out book club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're going to be talking about Son of Hitler the uh, by uh, Anthony. The uh, graphic novel that uh, follows, as you can imagine, the kind of the uh, untold story of, of uh, Adolf Hitler's secret child and how he was the key to ending World War II. Um, kind of based off of, you know, conspiracy theories mm-hmm. that, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's... It's a shockingly, I mean, given the current events, it's both a timely book, but it's just a shocking read. Yeah, like, and it moves, man. Yeah. For a graphic novel, it doesn't like... It's like it, almost 200 pages. Yeah. And it it moves. Yeah. Um, because it's just this this crazy mission to to kill Hitler. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's all kinds of twists and turns along the way. Yeah. I should also mention Jeff Moore. He co-writes this as well. Yes. Um, um, it's just, yeah, it's, you know, anything set in World War II... Usually, is is pretty interesting because I mean you know that is such a one of those examples of good ver- you know what you know what the biggest example in our the, it's the last evil, it's you the know? last conflict without any I I think any moral ambiguity that's, yeah okay that's yeah that's that's fair and um it kind of you know it, it spans a couple years you get you know runs the gamut of you know uh, key moments in World War II as mm-hmm. uh, kind of these big background moments that stitch you up where these characters are at yeah. Um and just a really interesting book. It kind like of I dances said, between the raindrops of history. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I, I have like, those. I yeah. like that. I like that. But, um but yeah, just really cool. Uh kind of reminds me of like where Eagles Dare a bit. Sure. Yeah. The kind of uh, man on a mission sort of thing mm-hmm. and British Secret Service and that sort of thing. Yep. Uh during World War Two. Uh, apparently they they changed the ending mm. uh, given current events, um, and it kind of shows. Like it's yeah, it like does, definitely does, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's definitely a moment where you're like, oh, they're like they're mm. they're tapping into something here. Yeah, uh, they're it's it's it becomes reactionary, and I think that's always kind of you and I always like the stories that kind of come from that real place mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, like kind of that's your you know big thing with Dark Knight Strikes Again that it was that it turns into a reactionary comic. Yeah. Um, for for Frank Miller, just as this turns into a reactionary comic for for uh, you know Anthony Jeff and Jeff, Anthony Jeff and Jeff, yes, nice one with a G, one with a J, nice. They run, they cover their, all the grounds, all the Jeffs, all the Jeffs, the Crisis on Infinite Jeffs, Crisis on Infinite Jeffs, yeah. There's two. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> but the um, but no, it's. It, it, I remember this was this was a book that uh, had just been announced at um, at Expo right before we did uh, Emerald City. Yes, and it was definitely one that a lot of the Image people, the Image staff, was talking about. Mm-hmm. You know, it was kind of like, keep an eye on this one. Yeah, and yeah, it does, it it moves, it 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 packs, it hits like a like a machine gun punch. It's you know, it's it's a cracking good read. That's out in comic book stores everywhere on Wednesday, June twentieth. Um, this has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.